kale hay mint here and today I have an earth box unboxing. This is going to be my last month of earth box. It was fun and I found a lot of really cool snacks but you know just time to put my money elsewhere. I feel like it's fun to get subscription boxes for a while but after so long they kind of lose their magic. So this is the May 2016 box and it is the vegan box and if you weren't aware Earth boxes are sent out towards the end of the month, so that's why these are always late or in the beginning of the next month. So I have a coupon code for Nye Foods. There we go. And let's see. A coupon, or like a physical coupon for Aloha Organ Protein Bar. So. Obviously the physical coupon isn't going to do you guys any good, but there's a coupon code on the other side. Right there. So that's for $10 off of an order of $50 or more. And then there's a coupon code for ground-based nutrition protein powder, it looks like. So there's the coupon code for that. And then Hemp Love has a coupon code right there. many coupons this month and then Remy Organics has a 20% off coupon code right there come on focus okay maybe it doesn't want to focus whatever so let's get started on the items in the box the first one not a disappointment but also not that interesting because I buy this all the time. It's the Boom Chicka Pop Sea Salt Popcorn. I love this stuff. It's my favorite popcorn. Austin really likes it too. He really likes one in the purple bag. It's slightly sweet. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to like it. But it's nothing new. And I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with this. So, it's not like you're really discovering something new. And then the next thing is a disappointment. It is the organic chickpea puffs from Hip Peas. This is the maple haze flavor. One, I know I would not like that flavor because I just don't like sweet and savory flavors. And two, these are just disgusting. I got two bags of these in the last box I, I got. I don't think I shared that one on um, YouTube. But they're just like puffs and they're really gross and they like are just, they're like packing peanuts. They're the flavors aren't great and I don't like these. I think they're disgusting. Personally. Oh, it's really heavy. Austin's gonna like this because they're fruit juice. From Fruit Cho fruit what is it called? Fruit Choice. It's the mixed fruit fruit gummies. This is a huge bag. Look, there, there's the bag next to my head. It's the size of my head. It's really heavy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Austin will definitely get some enjoyment out of those. I'll probably try one, but I know like by the time I have one, he'll have eaten the whole bag. From Hemp Love, I have two chocolate bars. Candied hemp and mint. So I guess they're both the same flavor. They must be candied hemp and mint flavor. So they're actually really substantial and pretty weighted. They're packaged really nicely. I like the gold foil. The packaging looks really professional, so I'm, I'm really excited to try these. 81% cacao, so I'm really excited about those. I hope those are delicious because they seem really cool. Then we have a Nye bar in peanut butter flavor. Ugh. I hate when they send things in peanut butter flavor because I can't stay in peanut butter. And you would think with it, like all the peanut allergies out there, companies like boxes like this wouldn't send stuff like that. I don't know. So Austin will be getting to try that. Then we have the Gimme Organics Roasted Seaweed Snacks. I quite like seaweed, so I'm excited to try these. Hopefully they're super tasty. And another thing is if you made like a rice bowl with a bunch of like, I don't know, like typical sushi stuffings like sweet potato or um, asparagus and cucumber and avocado. These would probably be really good to like crumble over top. 
I really enjoy using nori to look, kind of crumble into my deconstructed sushi bowls, so that's probably a great idea for those too. And then nuts to go, or nutso to go, yeah. And this is seven nuts and seed butter. So it has peanuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, almonds, cashews, flax seeds, and sunflower seeds. It says upgrade your peanut butter, peanut butter pro. So peanut but peanuts are the first ingredient. So they're gonna be like the primary nut in this. And let me show you it. Packaging's really cute. And this is like just a little to go size, but I don't know if it's super peanutty and I don't think I'm gonna like it. So there's another one for Austin. Now this next item is sort of annoying. One, because it's crushed. And two, because I'm never gonna use it. Because three, it came in a previous box and I still never used that one. So this is the natural strawberry gel dessert. So it's basically like a vegan jello. It's completely crushed, which is gross. I'm never going to use this. Like I, The one that came in the first box, I thought, oh, well, that's going to sit for a while, so. I don't know. That's kind of meh. So we've got two bags of these little fig things from Fruit Bliss. Organic Turkish mini figs. It's just figs. Two containers of that so that's pretty cool and then more fruit juice these are gummy bears two packages of those and then the aloha protein bar and peanut butter and chocolate chip so another thing that i won't be eating then we've got protein powder super fruit super food i can't talk superfood protein and it's in pure vanilla so definitely excited to try that out i love getting little protein packs in these because they're just fun to try the different proteins then we have a stir in drink powder so kind of like a crystal light type thing and this is in a tropical punch flavor it's organic from the same brand the figs are from these are organic Turkish mini apricots. So those look pretty good, pretty good too, and they match my fingernails. And then last thing, oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, last thing from True Citrus. These are more crystal light type of packets, and there's all kinds of flavors. Raspberry lemonade, um, what's that one? Original lemonade, black cherry lemonade, peach lemonade, watermelon lemonade, and then it looks like there might be little recipes or something. So there's a whole bunch of them in there, which is pretty cool. I don't typically use those kind of things, but I might give them a try just to try them. Take them with me on the go if I'm craving something a little more interesting than just water although i'm not gonna lie i really enjoy water so that's why i've never ventured to use these type of things but that's pretty cool and this came with a coupon too a physical coupon i don't believe there's a coupon code although i don't feel like taking it apart to check so that's kind of cool um those are things i don't typically use but are interesting the little drink mixes love the protein powder Really interested in the figs and the apricots. Very excited for this chocolate and for the seaweed bites. I'm gonna eat this, but it's not super exciting. The gummies I know Austin will love and devour in like five seconds. And so, not excited for the jello. Not excited for the three peanut products, cause gross, I don't like peanut butter. And then not excited for these because these are just nasty. Like, they're disgusting. I'm going to have to give them to, like, my mom or Austin's mom just to get them out of the house so someone will eat them. But overall, I'd say this is a 50-50 box. And it's kind of the reason I'm unsubscribing to the subscription. 
it was fun and it was exciting and I liked getting vegan products to try, but when I'm not even going to eat half of them, it's kind of not worth it. So, uh, I guess it's an okay box to go out on. I did enjoy my time with the subscription and if you are interested in finding new snacks, getting info on new snacks, or just having snacks sent to you for the sake of having snacks in your house, this is really a cool subscription. I know that some people have commented on my videos saying that they thought Earthbox was a scam or that they had a bad experience with Earthbox. I have not had that bad experience with Earthbox. I did get one vegan box that had a non-vegan product in it and they issued an email apologizing and saying they'd add an extra snack to the next box and I felt like that was fine. Um, I've always had quick turnaround on my emails to the company for customer service type things and yeah, I'm pretty pleased. So overall, Earthbox is good in my book. I might subscribe again in the future, but for now I just want to put my money elsewhere. So thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while you can hit that subscribe button and to be notified every time I post a video you can hit the bell button right next to the subscribe button. Otherwise I'll talk to you all later. Bye!